And I will sing as an opening hymn, let us break bread together. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Good morning, everybody. Oh, God. 
God protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, for your great love, answer me. See, you holy ones, you holy ones, and be glad. You who see God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the cry of the poor, and in his own whoever bonds, he spurns me not. Lord, in great love, answer me. Thank you. 
missionary preacher throughout the kingdom of Naples, Italy. Uh, and as he preached, uh, they said to him, it is a pleasure to hear your sermons. You forget yourself and, and preach Jesus Christ. Isn't that nice to be said? You know, for any, any preacher, any priest, that, you know, what, what I attempt to do, I, I preach myself, but what I preach is Jesus Christ. And I share my own stories uh, and experiences to hopefully make that more meaningful. But it is a nice, a nice statement of the Fonz, uh, made for, about the Fonz's Guru, that, that uh, he forgets himself and preaches in Jesus Christ. And lastly, by the message that he founded, the congregation of the most holy redeemer known as the Redemptors. With trust in God's holy will, let us make our request known to Him. For the church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen each of us in our baptismal vocation as true disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in authority, may God grant them the humility to be guided by His word. Let us pray to the Lord. For those facing addiction, May Christ's position bring them healing and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the Lord continue to help us speak the truth in charity to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. With those who have died, may God welcome them into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear prayer. And for all our all souls remembrances, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. And I will pray the St. Martha prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our pleas of our good shepherd and divine physician. We implore your mercy to wake an outbreak of serious illness and disease. Guide our efforts to prevent contagion and make preparation to care for those most vulnerable. Assist all professionals and volunteers who work to eradicate the epidemic of mouse May our actions be marked by your steadfast love and selfless service and never by panic or fear. Restore your comfort and heal to the sick. Sustain and strengthen them by your grace. May they know your closeness as they carry the cross of illness. And may all you have called from this life come to worship you eternally with all the saints as you grant consolation and peace to their members. Holy Mary, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, hope of the sick, pray for us. Saint Rocco, protector against epidemics, pray for us. And we amend this prayer. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given you in his name, and become for us the bread of life. Through the 
life and work of human hands that will become our spiritual dream. Especially for God for that one. And Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be a Be pleased, O oh Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of the Spirit, just as you granted the Saint Alphonsus to celebrate these mysteries, and by that offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, and we follow my eternal God, Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of St. Alphonsus de Burry, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of holiness. Make holy, therefore, in his gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks to Lord, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, love them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you.
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with and in you, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, while glory of God is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let us pray in the prayers that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us when we pray for every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, our glory, our glory, and our glory forever. Then, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ. Peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. You hold the Lamb of God. The only one takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am thy worthy of each person under my yoke. And we sit in the Lord, and my soul shall be free. May the body of Christ keep you safe from the truth. Amen. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above everything else, and I long to receive you to my soul. I cannot now receive you my communion, but I beg you to come to me at least spiritually with you. I embrace you as already there and you might unite myself entirely to you. Grant that I may never be separated from you. And for this weekend, uh, in terms of the parking lot use, uh, I don't know if I'm, I don't know what lots of any will be available. They continue to work on sealing the parking lots, and then after they're all sealed, and they have to be 
striped so that uh, we may not have the parking lots available and park on the, uh, park on the streets instead. I kind of think of it like a carnival time when we don't have parking. So uh, everybody knows it's convenient. Uh, we're trying to get everything prepared here for the start of the new parish year. And reconciliation is at the normal time, the new normal time of two o'clock today, from two to three. Let us pray. Oh God, give the same responses to be a faithful steward and preacher of his great history. Grant that your faithful may receive it often and receiving it praise you without end through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks for God. And I will sing, let us break bread together. Verse 3. Let us pray to God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh, 